My name is Rashid and uh, I was born and raised in Morocco to a devout Muslim family. My dad was actually the imam of the local mosque. He was very devout to his religion. It was 24 hours in his life. So that's all what he did for a living and that's all what he believed. My dad wanted somebody to take over when, or follow his steps. So he took me to the mosque when I was four years old and he started teaching me the basics of Islam. His joy was that I have a son who's going to learn all what I know and he's going to lead also in uh, teaching people about Islam and the Quran. So I started memorizing the Quran at a very young age because usually you have to finish when you are 10 or around that age. You have to finish memorizing the whole thing. That was my life, I, and I was happy with it. I see people around my dad kissing his hands and uh, inviting him to big celebrations. He's in the front always. I'm just holding his hand and proud of him. And I like the status of being a son of an imam. It, it gave me a lot of uh, pride. All what I knew, Islam was the religion and uh, the path to God. I thank God for my mom. She fought with my dad for our education because my dad wanted us to be just in a mosque. And she said, no, they have to go to normal school as well. And actually my dad, he did beat my mom for that several times because he said um, the Quran is the best and they don't need secular uh, education. Secular education will ruin their lives. When I was 12 years old, I had to move uh, outside of my village and I had to go to Casablanca to continue my secular studies. It was a good thing for me because I learned some things new other than religion. And another thing, I would be away from my dad and his authority. Uh, it would be like a little bit of freedom, a little bit of freedom for me. The solution was that I will stay with my uncle in Casablanca. Casablanca is a big city, so I'm moving from a village of hundreds of people to millions of people. It was like a different world. And when I moved there, my uncle promised my dad that he will continue the same thing with me. He will make sure that I will do my religious duties, I will go to the mosque, I will um, follow everything he did at home and he um, also will take care of me with my studies. And when I moved to Casablanca, there are, there are tools of entertainment and stuff like that, uh, uh, and one of them was radio. I was tuning, and then I hear something in Arabic, I stop, because it's Arabic. And then I heard something about Jesus the first time I hear, other than what I learned from the Quran, and that he was crucified, and crucified for our sins. And then I continued listening. It was uh, all blasphemy for me back then. Um, he is the Son of God, and He came to this earth in a human, as a human being to save us. And I was trying to just close my ears because I don't want to hear that. It's blasphemy. It's against my beliefs. And I was really mad because these guys speak Arabic. So I was listening, and at the end of the program, they gave an address. And I quickly wrote it on my hand because I want to write them, and I want to challenge them. So out of zeal, out of curiosity, I wrote to them, and I put all the verses I know from the Quran, and I thought, yes, I, I will show them that they were wrong. And I wrote everything I know about Jesus from Islam. That was a new door opening for me four years of correspondence courses with uh, people there. They changed over the time. Several people I corresponded with and they answered my questions. I was comparing Islam and Christianity basically. Not that I doubt my Islam, I just wanted to show them that they are wrong. I ended up giving my life to Jesus Christ instead.